In this video, we will learn about the center widget. First of all, we will create a third page because when we go inside this one, we go in the second page, but now we will create another one to go inside the third page. Let's do that by going inside the library. So you click right here inside your Explorer, you create library, you say new file, and we will say uh, third page dot dart because you need to write dot dart always. After, if you remember first step, what it is to import the material dot dart. So we say import, enter, and then we can say material and it will pop up automatically. Here we go. Okay, second step to create a new page is the stateful widget. So stateful widget, or we can use the uh, stateless widget. It depends if we will uh, refresh the screen because right now we don't need to refresh the screen because we have nothing inside. We can use the less widget. So we will take this one with the stateless W, enter, and then we will say third page like that. You can keep the key, it's not a problem, but I prefer to delete it because we will not use it. And I like the code to be a small, as, a, a small uh, the much smaller, it's better. <laughs> okay, um, but it depends. <laughs> so after that, we will create the scaffold like this. And inside the scaffold, we will say the, um, we can say the body. The body argument, we say control space, we take the body argument, and then uh, inside this one, it's time to use the center widget. But first we will use it without it. So we'll just say text widget. And inside we will say hello. And we will need to, uh, so I will format document. So right click format document. We will need to create a route first. So do you remember how to do that? First step is to add the route name and we add it right here before the override. So we say static and then it's something called the constant and we say route name equal to, we can recall the name, so third page like that and put the semicolon. So now we have the route name. We need to go inside the main where we have our material app widget. And in this one, if we go uh, on the top, we have the material app widget with the route argument inside. Then we will add another route so right after this one, we will say third page, but first we need to import third page to have access of the route name. So we will say third page like that. And then we can call third page. So I will go back here and I will say third page dot route name two point because we have write the key right here. And now we will write the value and the value is something to call the third page. So we'll say third page and we'll call it like that. That's good. Okay. And the final step. So the third step, the first one was to add the route name right here. Second step is to add it inside the material app route. And the third step is to add it on the page where you will click on the button. So in the button. So it is in the main page, but on the second class. So the my scaffold app, we go in this one and we will find in the bottom app bar two button. The first one is the home. The second one is the notification. The notification go through the second page. And now we will write inside this one. Instead of printing something, we will call our very long function call in navigator dot of context dot push name it. So this one, and then the name of the route, and it is third page dot route name. And we put this semicolon at the end format document. And we should be good. So now if we click on it, we go inside the the other page, but we don't have a an app bar and we will add it right here. So let's find the third page. We will add an app bar argument with an app bar widget. 
like this and then format document. All is good. We have our hello. We can come back to the main page and we can go inside the home page. So the third one, we can say a, a title for this. So by example, title, the argument title, and then the text widget text like this. Here we go. And we can say only three like this. So now we know we are in the third one inside the second page inside the third one. And now it is the time to learn about the center widget. So I'm sure you understand what will happen if we put the center widget. Let's do it. We can right click on text and refactor, or you can just control dot over it. And you will have something called the wrap with center. Here we go. As soon as we do that, the, the widget text is now inside the center of the scaffold. So that's it for the center widget. It is pretty much to put any widget in the center of it. And it's a very useful widget as, as you can see. So see you on the next video. Bye.